Hi, doctor. How are you? Fine, sir. So, how are you doing? Uh, sir, feeling great, sir. And uh, let me just start by saying that it's uh, it's an honor to be sitting on the other side of the camera for a change. Uh, and uh, <laughs> yes, sir. And uh, so thanks to all the faculty of speed uh, that I could achieve this rank. Uh, and uh, sir, that's all, sir. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from Speed Medical Institute behalf of all the faculty members to Dr. Swamiya Sen for scoring a great rank of 351 in NEAT SSDM Medical Group uh, in NEAT SS Session 2023. Congratulations. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Could Congratulations and best wishes, I said. Sir, you're not audible. Could you please? I said congratulations and best wishes. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, can you tell me a brief history from where you started till date? Yes, sir. So, sir, I uh, did my MBBS from Medical College, Kolkata. Uh, and, sir, after that, uh, I did uh, one year of house stopship in general medicine uh, from the same college. And uh, after that, sir, uh, in 2020, I uh, joined DNB General Medicine at uh, NH uh, RN Tagore Institute of Cardiac Sciences in Mukundapur. And this year only, sir, I have completed in August 2023, sir, I have completed my DNB. And uh, after that, sir, I've uh, appeared in NEET SS, sir. Very nice. Back to back. <laughs> Not even a single day. <laughs> Not even a single day dropped. Amazing. Mm, very happy for you. You tell me, how did you do it? I mean, people uh, are actually, it difficult? Yes, sir. Uh, so actually, sir, uh, uh, for me, the scenario was a little different. Because, sir, uh, I was in my third year of residency. And uh, uh, my board exams were coming up. Uh, it was in, uh, I did my uh, DNB, I, I appeared for my DNB exit exams theory in uh, April. Uh, and after that, my practicals were in late August. So, sir, uh, there was no particular preparation strategy uh, that I could adopt for the NEET SS entrance examination. Uh, so, what I did, sir, uh, I uh, particularly, whatever topic I used to read for uh, the theory examination, I used to uh, join the speed app and see the corresponding videos. And after that, sir, I would just focus on those areas, uh, which, sir, I was more likely to be asked for the entrance exam rather than for the exit exam. Sir. Just for example, sir, if I was reading inflammatory bowel disease, uh, so in uh, in the theory exam, sir, I was more likely to be asked regarding the etiopathogenesis and clinical features and so on and so forth. But, sir, for the entrance exam, I figured that there were questions like uh, genetic associations and so on. Which, sir, uh, which were not required for the theory level, at the, at the exit level, sir. So, in the video, sir, I tried to concentrate particularly in those areas which I will I will not be studying for the uh, theory exam, sir. So, I, I am not saying that, sir, I was able to do it for all the uh, all the topics, sir. But uh, for the cardinal topics, I tried my level best. So, that was particularly my strategy, sir. So, how did you manage within a month's time to quickly prepare and... Uh make it a very successful uh, score and to get into it? Sir, it was not actually uh, the matter of one month. Uh, mm -hmm. Sir, basically, I had my theory exam back in April 23. So, what I did, sir, uh, before uh, before uh, the theory exam was started, I, uh, I, I sir, uh, particularly uh, uh, started my preparation back then only, sir. Okay. Because, uh, sir, the uh, mm -hmm. one problem the residents face, sir, uh, during the uh, final year of residency, the pattern of examination is grossly different, sir. So I tried to incorporate those parts uh, which were, uh, sir, we were less likely to be asked in the theory and more in the entrance exam and to uh, study them together, sir. So that was my strategy, uh, sir. For, I did not adopt any particular strategy for the entrance exam per se. So, sir, I did it along with my theory preparation, sir. Okay, I understand. So what all you did, how did you prepare? I mean, uh, I mean to uh, yes, get into uh, MCQs so, or theory, how did you, can you brief on that? Yes, sir. So, uh, sir, the speed helped me a lot. Uh, so, uh, in speed, sir, the particularly, I found the rapid revision course most enriching, sir. Because uh, my theory was in April and the uh, examination was in September. And uh, around mid-June, mid sir, the re rapid revision course was started. So, uh, sir, uh, basically, I was able to re revise the entire syllabus almost two times. Sir, because of this course okay. and secondly sir uh, uh, the high yielding tables from harrison sir those were uh, i mean uh, those were very enriching for me because sir 
I shamelessly admit, sir, I'm a very mediocre student, and it's not possible to go through the entire Harrison, sir, uh, in uh, one go. So, sir, the especially the high yield uh, points that were uh, highlighted in those videos, sir, it helped me a lot. Okay. So, what is the number of questions that you attended in the exam? Uh, sir, I uh, I attempted one forty nine questions. Wow. Sir, I, yes, sir. <laughs> sir, it's uh, I want to say that uh, the, the I was helped here by the uh, grand tests because, sir, uh, by giving the grand tests, I realized that, uh, sir, uh, a more aggressive strategy was uh, beneficial for me, sir. Because, sir, it was uh, more about the number of questions which uh, you get right rather than the less negative marking, uh, sir. For me, uh, I found that uh, by attempting 149 questions, uh, I was able to get around 107 to 108 correct. So, mm -hmm. sir, uh, that, I think, sir, that worked for me. Very nice. Doctor, what is the message that you want to give for the future aspirants or juniors or friends aspiring for DM superficiality? Uh, sir, two things I would like to say is, number one, sir, uh, not to waste a year for preparing separately for NEET SS. Uh, I would like to say that it can be done in the running year itself, provided the preparation is in hand-to-hand uh, -hand with the exit exam, uh, with the DMD or the DNB exit exam. That is one thing, sir. And number two, sir, I would like to suggest that uh, everyone makes uh, a copy of their own notes. Sir, because uh, whatever we write and whatever we, uh, by our own hand, Sir, it is very easily easy to revise it Twice. before the examination, sir. Very that is that that sir I found most useful. Okay. Now time to thank whom all you want to thank who made your career till date. Uh, sir, I want to take up DM cardiology, sir. Uh, DM so, cardiology. Sir, yes, sir. So that has been my goal ever since I joined MBBS. So uh, that's I I hope sir I will get it. Uh, sure, sure. The, Good call. So, time to thank. Whom all you want to thank uh, who have helped you to build this career so far? Sir, there. first of all, sir, I would like to thank my parents, uh, my colleagues and my seniors. And, uh, sir, I would like to thank all the speed faculty for helping me out in this incredible journey, sir. It has been a most enriching experience, a huge learning curve. And uh, particularly, sir, I would like to thank you for all these motivational videos, sir. <laughs> If I would not have dared to <laughs> sit this exam in my first attempt, had not it uh, had had it not been sir for your motivational speeches, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, doctor, for great words. And faculties will also be very happy uh, looking at your video uh, because they'll be very satisfied for hearing good words from you. Thank you so much. Sir. So once again, uh, I bring in all the wishes to you, and also uh, I want to tell you uh, that you will be doing a great job as a DM cardiologist. Our advanced you, from our institute, Speed Medical Institute, our advanced wishes to you for being a great cardiologist in years to come. I'm going to treat millions of patients. Best Thank wishes. you, sir. It means a lot. Best wishes to you, doctor. Thank you, sir.